When you say 60% completion, that's not necessarily 60% four-year degrees, the way I'm reading this. That's true. We're looking at uh, post-secondary credentials that would include quality one-year certificates, workforce credentials, associate degrees, and bachelor's and graduate degrees. We need all of those in order for us to reach the 60% goal, and we need them to be produced in all of our sectors, public, private, and proprietary. One thing that stood out on the sheet was the idea of a one-year certificate for potentially high-earning jobs, which is something I'm, I'm guessing not being done right now. But what people don't know is if you align a workforce certificate, a, a one-year credential with a workforce need, you actually may make as much money as an associate degree or even a bachelor's degree. The key is for people to actually look at workforce needs when they're making the t determination. It's not just about workforce needs. Obviously, we know education has benefit far beyond that. But it is important for Hoosiers to be smart about what kinds of degrees they're pursuing and what the workforce needs might be. How does cost play into all this over the coming years, since costs are always growing uh, rapidly? Well, clearly, affordability is an issue that's very important to members of our commission. We want to make sure that at a time we're telling everybody they need a post-secondary credential, that they can afford to get one. And so we're working with our uh, colleges and universities um, to make sure that they're providing all the opportunities they can. But we think it's a shared responsibility. Students need to be academically and financially prepared, and we will make sure that they can get to college then. Then the trick is they have to complete. The completion is the critical part when it comes to affordability. If you don't complete and you leave with debt, uh, it's, a, it's, a, a, it's a double uh, whammy to you, sort of. You, you mm. have both the debt and no credential, so you need to complete. And, and expanding opportunities to achieve that higher education, too, not just the uh, traditional campus anymore. That, that's and, exactly and, right. and, and a lot of colleges have taken that step already. They have, and what we don't realize is we still have the same number of people who are going to our more traditional schools, but because we've told so many more people they need to go to college, only about one in four people will actually live on a college campus. The rest of them will be actually commuting, working, first-generation students, and we need to meet the needs of those students in a post-secondary.